Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. My name is Ken Morgan. I'm a teacher and coach at Madison County High School and just wanted to share a few thoughts with you this morning on one of my favorite verses and passages. It comes from Ephesians chapter 6 at the end of the passage, the end of the book, when uh, Paul's talking about the armor. And uh, a long time ago, as an athlete, I heard this passage and the speaker talked about being an athlete and putting on our equipment for battle and getting ready to play and uh, he used this to really speak to me and I've always remembered this verse and I love verse 10 where it says finally be strong in the Lord and his mighty power and uh, it's kind of like what we've been hearing online and from so many that uh, just remain in him rest in him he is our rock and our peace and our salvation and uh, so this verse just goes right along with that being strong in him and his mighty power and then it goes on to say in the next few passages, uh, he talks about the armor and he talks about putting it on and, and getting ready. And, and uh, if you think about that, it's kind of like what we're seeing today with all our health workers and all those on the front lines and all those in the middle of the battle against this virus. And, and man, we really appreciate them and all they're doing for us. But you see them and they've got masks on, they're covered head to toe, trying to protect themselves against this virus. And I got to thinking the Lord was impressing on me, and, and he said, uh, you know, that's the way you ought to treat sin. And you ought to distance yourself from sin and, and realize that, hey, stay away. And that's what he's saying in this passage. Uh, put on your armor so that when the devil schemes and things come against you in the world, uh, be ready for them. And uh, so many times in athletics, we tell our kids, be strong, be big. You know, you got to get after it. you got to do this. you got to do that. And the Lord says simply, be strong in his power. And then he says in verse 13, uh, several times, he said, just stand. Stand and, and see what's going to happen when he does the job that he can do and only he can do. And uh, that's been so good for me because you know, I want to get ahead of myself and I this, I that. And I'm very independent about doing things. And I need to just settle back and rest in him and realize it's his mighty power. And then uh, just uh, knowing that he's going to take care of us. And the last part of that, Paul speaks in verses 18 through 20. He says, pray. Pray for the saints, pray for him, pray for the message that it may go out fearlessly, that there may be an open door, and, and uh, Lord willing, when we get through this, and, and we will, well, we'll be prepared for that battle. We'll be ready to go up against the world and, and stand firm for him and, and pray that our message is ready also, that we're ready to face-to-face -to -face share the gospel with people, and that's what I'm hoping and praying in my life, and the Lord's been impressing on me just to get ready for that battle as we're here at home. And, uh, can get in the Word hopefully a little more and pray a little more when we have extra time. But uh, just be encouraged that uh, verse 10 of chapter 6, be strong in the Lord and His mighty power, stand firm, and then just pray at all occasions. And uh, that's just what we want to do right now, if you will. Just pray with me. Father, thank you so much for the opportunity just to uh, get into your Word. And Father, we just pray for all those out there that are working hard for us to keep us safe. And Lord, just pray for all those that just uh, need a touch from you today. And uh, you be all that, Father, and you just uh, come to them and show them your goodness and mercy and grace and everything. Thanks so much, Father, for just loving us so much. And we thank you for your son and celebrate Easter recently. Let's just do that every day in our hearts as we just think about the resurrection and that you are alive and you're on the throne. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks. You guys have a great day and uh, be safe and be blessed. Thanks. See you later.